Major Man. Hey guys, Pello Fork here with another Empire Total War. And I just fired some guy. Let's see what the people are thinking. Oh, Belarus and West Prussia are super pissed. I stopped taxing Blush Prussia off screen and also built a farm in Celestia off screen. So. And I ran the um, next track off screen. I'm sorry, but it's uninteresting and you don't get to see it very much. So. We got all this going on. I just lost badly. Oh man. Okay. Um let's send Pablo out there. Better to Oigan again. Because he will be the form of our son. And Pablo failed once again. One of these days you'll get better, trust me. Um, so, here we go, doing the standard recruitment thing. Um, I'm going to, no, I ought to plan for the next as well. Okay. Um, forces, and I suppose I'll upgrade that factory. Now, one of these things I'm going to have to do later is build roads at a point in time. But right now I have two fully stacked armies against my one fully stacked army. I mean, one of them has a no general, one of them has a great general. But needless to say, I'm a little intimidated. At least Celestia is fortified. Breslau, Volkov, whatever you want it. so, uh, It's fortified, but vulnerable. So, um. We're really. Gonna have to hope for a miracle here. Which probably won't happen on medium. Yeah. So I'll end the turn, see what Austria and Prussia do. Oh! Well, oh, look at that. Prussia took over Prague. That's unexpected. And then again, Austria sucks balls, so maybe it is. Ah! This will be good. They're fighting each other instead of me. This is what I want. This is what I need. Now, having a big army in your hands will drain your, how should I say, it'll drain your funds a little quicker than being light in the amount of army you have. Upkeep is, the upkeep costs do take toll especially when you get into like three fully stacked armies hopefully I can end the war soon and then I'll start industrializing and then once I feel adequate about that I'll pick my next target and eventually I'll get to a point where I conquer it and industrialize it as I move on to the next one but right now we have to take it slow and we can't we have to worry about the war front before we improve conditions at home. I'm not using a timer, I'm just going to do three turns, assuming that it will be four minutes. Maybe that's wrong of me, I don't know. Um, so I got myself into some shit. What's going on? I'm going to try to, oh I got a new rake. 
Okay, he's in Lithuania. We're gonna try to get him, even though he's three stars, to assassinate Gottfried Arnold. Because, looks like we'll be battling Prussia for a little while longer. Assassinate him. We only have 11% chance of it. Mikole. You failed me. Go get Eugen. Damn it. I'm not worried about their bishop because he's actually helping me. And what's this? Something in government flashing. I am losing popularity fast. There we go. Let's fire. Do not them picky. Don't. Ah, Zitslav Yupchak will work. He's not Timon Sekirka, but he's pretty good at what he does, you know. Okay, so, um, even though the government thing is flashing, I don't know why. Denmark's no longer my ally. What the fuck, Denmark? I don't know why that thing is flashing. That's weird. Wait till the elections are coming up? I don't think that happens. <laughs> We're going to build roads in Poland. And a government building in Belarus. Because they were pretty close. And I think Lucia can get one too. Sorry, Lithuania. You are now behind. But you have this conservatorium to keep your people happy. Aren't you happy? Plus, your name is in our country. Couldn't do it without you, Lewis. Oh man, what have I got myself into now? Austria and Prussia. Three way war. This is what I want, though. Oh, Austria took back Prague. Russians are feeling the burn. And then. The massive Polish armies will sweep in and take this little, the pollution triangle, Celestia, Saxony, Prague. That's actually sort of funny that that's where, like, the battleground is right now. Because that's the pollution triangle in Europe. Oh, shit. Stuff's going down in England and Estonia. Oh, my voice feels raspy. Um... So, I feel like a sloth for doing this for an hour instead of homework, but gotta love it, and I'm dedicated. Can't, can't call me not dedicated. Even though I took a pretty good break. Oh, there's like the game. Oh man, I need a port badly. It's gonna be a while till I get there. Probably Croatia will be my first, I don't know. Just had to give it to Berlin to Denmark. You know. It's a bad idea in retrospect. There goes Bavaria. That's going to be. They're fighting Prussia, but they're not fighting me. Thank God. You know, they're scrubs. Oh, somebody died. Graveyard, graveyard. Who died? Public servant. I think he was one of my cabinet members. Let's check. Well, if he was, I'm not missing him. And elections are going to be held anyway, so maybe something to fuck up. Go, go, Pavel Ranger. Assassinate Oigan. And you failed once more. Go back to this farm. I'm sorry. Can, can you say it? I'm sorry. 
Is that in your vocabulary? Subtraction? You screwed up. All of poem is mad. Go guard that farm. We're going to recruit some more, and then that should be enough, and we'll make our attack. And I'm just going to upgrade this building. The current expert troops don't get to there in time anyways. And then I'll go after Klausenberg, go through this little mountain pass right here. Hopefully the Ottoman Empire won't be too mad. And... Oh man, what's going on with the religion thing in East Prussia? Catholicism continues to decline. Dang it. Oh, Prague's actually a little Protestant, isn't it? That's a little weird. It's not supposed to be. Yep, for some reason. Okay, so I'm gonna end turn, and if I don't see a, if I have to cut, see you next time, guys. This is Pebble Fort, but let's watch what happens and see if we need to cut. Alright, see you later guys, this is Pelopor.